you sure you're all right? You want a sticky bun or something? Always cheers me up when I've had a shock. I'm fine, thank you, Brenda. Just need a little bit of peace to read my magazine. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Yes, I'm afraid it is, actually. I'm so sorry that you had to witness that last night. Can we not do this in here, please? In fact, can we not do this at all? I hope you find happiness, I really do. But as to how and where, it's really none of my business now, is it? You're a fine woman, Bernice. You deserve to be happy. Are you OK? Would be if people would stop asking me stupid questions. Well, at least you've got a solid goal reason for why it didn't work out. Can't help it if you've got the wrong bit, can you? I mean, let's face it. If he was straight and that loaded, he would have gone for some 20-year-old Bambi lookalike with a bum the size of China. Thank you, Nicola. I can always rely on you to cheer me up. I'm only trying to help. Oh, nice to see you looking after yourself. It's my cheat day. Yeah, well, do clear up after, won't you? You really need to learn how to relax. Uh, how can I when I've humiliated myself in front of half the village? It wasn't that bad. What wasn't that bad? At least you were speaking from the heart. <laughs> that might wash on your hippie trail, but some of us live in the real world. Dad? He asked Ronnie to stay with him. A big, grand gesture in the middle of the wool pack. Yeah, and then stood there like a fool as he left me for dust. This was your idea? Well, you think they should be together too? Yes, I know, but what... Well, massive surprise you're turning this around on me. I just want him to be happy, that's all. What, and I don't? Oh, please, stop it, the pair of you. Why, what are you going to do, send us to our rooms? So what did Ronnie actually say? Not a lot. Just the truth. That I was 30 years too late. 